Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we'll be reacting to Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, Led Zeppelin. Actually, it should be the other way around. Led Zeppelin, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You. Um, This band is interesting, you know, like, they are true OGs of the genre. And I feel kind of honored listening to them, but I feel unworthy to, like, listen to them. Like, I feel like I should react to more bands, like, maybe 20 more before actually listening but i know that sounds kind of stupid but at the same time it feels like i really want to know their songs you know i want to know the inside and out of it but i'm just a newbie to rock and i'm saying i'm still a newbie because i know that a year of listening to bands isn't that great you know like some of you guys out there have been listening since you were like what 10 years old or something so yeah there's some true OGs out there who's been listening along to these bands and rock in general and the various genres accompanied by it anyway today we have the lyrics version and we have a live version from 1969 so yeah that's gonna be interesting um I'm going according to the album list like you guys have told me before and which is a good idea, you know. Um, so this was the next one. Maybe I'm gonna leave you. Uh, I still wonder if it's correct, you know, from Google. I did search this out on Google because a lot of times, like, it could be wrong. I don't know exactly because I'm not experienced with the band. I'm listening, literally listening to the songs. Like, I started listening like last month or something. So, yeah, you guys have to forgive me if I'm wrong about that. But um. If you want, you could also just list it, you know. If you guys have the time, you could just list this, the order of the songs. I, I don't mind either way. But um, thank you so much for the support as always. Um, I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on with it. Before that, I do have the lyrics on hand. Sounds like that Justin Bieber song from the beginning. Baby, baby, baby. But it's definitely not... Um, I'm not really a fan of songs like pop and stuff like that, kind of, but yeah, let me not compare it because <laughs> they are two different songs completely. Anyway, let's get on with it. Mm. This man's voice is amazing like um just the acoustic tune in the background and his voice just makes it sound like heaven you know um it just sounds amazing and it goes so well with the song like it feels like he's talking to me you know and i feel like i'm talking to someone else in my head you know that feeling of when you when a song is so good that it it makes you remember things about the past or reenact situations you know and that on its own is an amazing feeling so yeah i'm already liking this song from the beginning baby, baby, I 
can hear it calling me the way it used to do. I can hear it calling me back home. <laughs> Damn, I got so engrossed in the song. I forgot the lyrics. Um, I've been listening to it. Don't worry, guys. Um, okay, this is gonna sound kind of strange, but I think there's two sides to the song: a lighter one and a more darker one. You know. Um, he says, "Babe, I'm gonna leave you. Home is calling." That could be like you know, um, he's gonna leave and then he's gonna come back. You know, like leave for a certain amount of time and then come back. Like um, for a while, you know, is what it feels like. Maybe you'll come back to a home. And the darker side to it feels more like he's saying that he's gonna leave Earth itself, like to the other side. And home could be, you know, up above. Catch my drift. So yeah, that. That feels like there's two sides to the song, and depending on your mood, you could interpret it either way. But I haven't listened to the entire thing, so let's let's listen more. Mm. 
that's when it's calling me back home. Mm. That is a beautiful song. Very much so. Um, let's go on to the live version. For that, it felt amazing. You know, um, it felt like I was going down a trip to the past. But at the same time, I can't get rid of the feeling that it is a double-sided song. You know, um, there's two meanings to it. I mean, on the surface, it's like some guy going off and he'll be back for his lady, you know. At the same time, it feels like some guy who wants to go off, you know, and to the sky because he's too tired of Earth. But one day they'll reunite again in heaven. Does it sound too dark? Does it sound wrong, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't personally know. But what I can tell you guys is it's my personal interpretation of it you know i'm sure you guys have some amazingly interesting interpretations yourselves so let me know because as always guys like you you you're not wrong neither are you right in your interpretations unless it's from the band themselves you know but at the same time like that's why it's left so ambiguous it's for you to decide what the song means to you you know personally and yeah i always find it fascinating that we're all so fundamentally different that we come up with our own interpretations of the songs and what it means to us. Anyway, let me stop rambling. Let's, let's listen to the live version, which is going to be interesting. This is a number called Babe, I'm going to Leave You.
it's strange that this feels weird to me, you know, like I've never listened to a recording from 69, you know, and the crowd themselves just feel chilled, you know, like not what I'm used to where people are vigorously headbanging to every strum of the guitar or, you know, every note. Um, it feels chilled, more relaxed, more harmony, you know, it feels like just relax yourself <laughs> is the kind of vibe I'm getting from them. And it's interesting because I'm not used to it, you know. I hear it calling me. I told you now I hear it calling me the way it used to do. It's been so long It's been so long But I want your love and babe I need your love I need your love More than I could ever say Okay, okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm just the weird one here, but I'm not alone because the guy in the white over to my left seems to be feeling it as well, you know. But um, man, if I was in this crowd, I wouldn't. My head would be moving like this constantly. I'm not even there, but it's constantly moving, like you know, like ah, this beat is good, it's fire. But um, I guess this is a different generation, you know. Like um, I can't compare the generation that I was born in to the older generation because it's there's a difference you know each decade um things change you know and uh, customs change as well so yeah but it feels very chilled you know except for this guy in the white yeah he he knows what it's about <laughs> find another you Ooh. I tried and I tried and I tried but there's not a single thing that I can do It's calling me back home. Mm. Mm. 
was a great one. Um I really love that song. For some reason it just it it makes me think about things at the same time it makes me chill, you know? It's very um coming to here, you know. Especially this this live performance. This one really caught me off guard, you know. I've never listened to a live performance like this before where it's where how can you not like headbang at the same time why are you headbanging you know like this is a chill song it's meant to be relaxing to listen to but i guess we all are different in a way you know um we all listen to songs differently if that makes sense but um it's a really unique experience and well i feel honored to have listened to such an old song and such an old time you know um gosh it's still strange even saying that 69 was the old time 1969 um it was a couple decades ago but at the same time like it feels kind of close you know so yeah um interesting i love the song um i love this performance this one is definitely in my top 10 <laughs> out of live performances i know it sounds strange but it is there it's there for a reason you know anyway if you guys did enjoy the video please do leave a like subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one